Hey people, welcome back to second tutorial of Vue.js. In this lecture, we will look at Vue instance and its EL property and data property. For that, we will use jsfiddle.net to run our code. You can use Vue either in jsfiddle, but for larger projects, we need something more, which we will see later. For now, let's just use jsfiddle. For this, I need CDN. To get started, so I will grab it from vuejs.org version 2 guide. And in here, we can find development version. So let's copy it and paste it in our JS Fiddle. So now we have our Vue.js. To demonstrate EL and data property, let's first create div with ID of app. Now in our JS, I will create new view instance using new view make sure your v is capital and in here i will create object property will be el first now what this el property do this will target our html element so in our html i want to target d with the id of app so how can i target that this is same as selecting element using CSS selector. You can do this using CSS selectors like hash app. Now our div with the id of app is selected. So next up we will use data property. Data property holds variable. This will be object and in here I am creating single variable. You can say this variable and you can name it message and value will be hello view all right now we have our element targeted and we have variable you can say message which have value hello view to print this we have to use mustache syntax like this and in here i will write that key which is message in our data property so i will write message all right and now when i run it I will get hello view. So this is view instance and using el property we are targeting this specific div and inside data we have key value pairs and key is our variable which have the value of hello view and when I use that mustache syntax double curly braces and inside the name of our variable message that message variable occupies the value which is hello view and displays in our result. I can prove it using hello world. Now I changed our value of message to hello world and now if I run this we get hello world. Alright so instead of message I will use something like this. Will it work? No of course not. It should not work. And what if if I use it here This is printing message but with those curly braces. So from that you can say that this view instance is working on that D with the ID of app because we selected that using EL property. So this is it I have for data property and EL property as well. In the next lecture we will see data binding. See you there.